Hello everyone, today we're going to go over the rotation distance parameter. It was recently added about a month ago and it is being phased in over the next six months. For now you can use both rotation distance or step distance, but in about five months you will need to uh, update your configuration to match the new parameter. Today I'm going to go over quickly what the change is um, and how it differs from what we currently have um, so you can get your configuration updated. So Clipper uses a parameter called step distance for every single stepper motor that is included in the printer. This value tells the Clipper when the stepper motor is incremented by one microstep how far either the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, or extruder moves. Um, so step distance is a value in millimeters. And this function, or formula here, is how that parameter is calculated um, in the case of a standard kind of belted uh, setup. So this would be fairly common for like X or Y. So you count, count the number of pulley teeth. Um, in most cases, it's 20. You know what your belt pitch is. In almost every single case, it's going to be 2 millimeters because almost all hobbyist level printers use a, use a GT2 belt, which has a 2 millimeter belt pitch. Gear ratio, um, which for most printers is 1 because you're not doing any gearing reduction. For Voron, it is uh, 5 to 1 for the Z drives. And then you divide this parameter, which is in most cases 40, uh, 40 millimeters, 20 pulley teeth times 2 millimeter belt pitch. You divide that by your stepper motor type. Um, you, this is either a 1.8 uh, motor angle per step or 0.9. So this 360 divided by the motor angle per step is either 200 or 400. 400 would be for 0.9 degree steppers and 200 would be for um, 0.18 or 1.8. And then your microsteps. Um, almost everyone uses 16 microstepping for printers. So if you know exactly what goes into step distance, it's fairly easy to calculate. Um, so let's do that now for a typical printer. It is 0 0.0125 millimeters. However, if you came across step distance and you had never set up Clipper before, um, it would be kind of convoluted because you don't know exactly what goes into it. Um, so that's, that's kind of where this transition to rotation distance comes into play. For reference, this step distance is actually exactly inverse of what Marlin uses. So if you flip over uh, step distance, um, you get steps per millimeter. And in this case, uh, the steps per millimeter associated with this theoretical printer is 80. Again, maybe 80, you could argue, is a little bit easier to understand or comprehend than 0 0.0125 millimeters, but in either case, there's a lot of abstraction underneath it that can be hard to understand if you don't know exactly what the equation stands for. Now that we have the context of how Clipper and Marlin calculate how the motors move, now let's look at rotation distance, which is the new Clipper parameter. Again, this can be switched over to right now. Um, both step distance and rotation distance are acceptable uh, solutions in the configuration, but in about five months, uh, step distance will be removed and you'll have to use rotation distance. The reason why this change was made is, again, as I mentioned before, step distance is very convoluted. If you don't know how to calculate it, it can be difficult to intuitively understand what the value should be. Rotation distance, on the other hand, um, is a very intuitive value. Um, you can always know, okay, I every time the pulley rotates um, by a full rotation, how much does my tool head move? And in this case, uh, it would be 40 millimeters, 20 pulley teeth, and 2 millimeter belt pitch. Most of the time, you're never going to use a gear ratio, so you don't need to define the parameter unless you know it. Like, for instance, uh, Voron uses a uh, 16 tooth to 80 tooth uh, 5 uh, gear reduction um, for Z. And so you would enter 16 tooth for gear 1, 80 teeth for gear 2, and that would be set. It would be exact. If you're using an extruder, for instance, the Bontech BMG, you would intuitively think it's actually a 3 to 1 reduction, but it's actually not. It's 17 and 50 teeth. So you can just put in the exact number of teeth, and Clipper handles all the math in the, in the background. Finally, that full steps rota per rotation is just the exact same parameter from step distance. You use 200 almost in every single case, except if you're using uh, 0.9 degree steppers, which is 400. Finally, the other really cool feature about this is that in the past, any time you change micro steps, for instance, if you have a TMC driver that you can select, you know, whatever uh, micro stepping you want in your configuration over UART, 
um, you would have to update step distance as well. With this new rotation distance parameter, microstepping is no longer just tied in, in um, to the driver settings, it also automatically gets pulled into the rotation distance calculation of how Clipper moves the tool head. So if you change the micro steps, which is now in the uh, stepper uh, configuration section instead of the TMC driver configuration, it will automatically calculate the new, the new internal step distance. Um, so you don't need to change anything except micro stepping. This makes experimenting with four uh, micro steps, eight, 16, 32, whatever value that your stepper driver supports that you want to test with, really simple, because you don't really need to do any math except change the parameter in your config and restart. If you want an example of how this is done, let's look at the Voron 1 uh, configuration that has been updated for the latest uh, rotation distance parameters. If we scroll down to stepper X, you'll see now, instead of defining a step distance parameter in the stepper X section, we now have rotation distance, which is the 20 teeth pulley times the 2 millimeter belt pitch. We have micro steps, which has never been defined in stepper X before. It's always been defined in the TMC section, but now it's pulled up into stepper X. And we have a full steps per rotation that is defined. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, uh, the micro stepping is no longer, it, has, it must be deleted from the TMC section. And that's really all there is to it. Um, there's not a lot of uh, changes necessary. Um, let's look at an example for a lead screw as well. Scroll down to stepper Z. Again, um, for this configuration, we're looking at a TR8x8 uh, stepper or uh, lead screw that has an 8mm per rotation uh, movement in the Z axis. We define the micro steps, and again, in this case, we're using a 1.8 degree motor, so the full steps per, ro per rotation is 200. Finally, note again down here, there is uh, no um, micro stepping parameter in the TMC section. Finally, probably the most important document to reference is the actual uh, Clipper rotation distance document that outlines all of the information we have gone over today. Um, it tells you how to cal calculate your rotation distance for your extruder, or look at rotation distance for your axes, for belts, lead screws, extruders, gear ratios, you name it. So please feel free to uh, look at this document. I'll have the link to this um, in the description below. <laughs> and with that, uh, this video is wrapped up about time because it uh, looks like Dax uh, needs some attention right now. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them in as timely a fashion as possible. As always, if you find this information useful, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.